The rented car, driven with such impatient exuberance by the senator, was speeding along the unpaved, unnamed road, taking the turns in giddy, skidding slides. And then, with no warning, somehow the car had gone off the road and had overturned in black, rushing water, listing to its passenger's side, rapidly sinking. At such moments, time accelerates. Near the point of impact, time accelerates to the speed of light. Too astonished, too disbelieving to scream 
as the calf blew off the road and struck the surface of the near invisible water, as if for an instant it might not sink, but float. time. He accelerates, breaks, acceleration, break again, now faster, curve, accelerate, turn, show.
the senator fell against her, and their heads knocked. And how long it was, the two of them struggled together, stunned, desperate, in terror of what was happening out of their comprehension. The senator fumbled, clawing at the safety belts, extricating himself by sheer strength from his seat, away from the broken steering wheel, away from the woman, frantically clutching at his trousered leg, his ankle, his foot crushing upon her, striking the side of her head, forcing himself through the door, with fanatic strength opening the door against the weight of black water, leaving her behind, crying, begging. Don't leave me. Help me. Wait. save me, of course, or bring others. Why can't I move? My leg is caught, maybe Was the senator lying on the weedy embankment, vomiting water in helpless spasms, drawing his breath deep, deep to summon his strength and manly courage, preparatory to returning to the black water? To dive down to the submerged car, like a capsized beetle, helpless and precariously balanced on its side in the soft muck of the riverbed, where his trapped and terrified passenger waited for him to save her, waited for him to return, to open the door, to pull her out, to save her? Was that the way it would happen?
Fifi. Chatting with the senator, drinking with the senator, laughing with the senator, driving with the senator to win.
been desperate to get free, using her very body to lever himself out of the door overhead, frantic kicking and scrambling like a great upright maddened fish, knowing to save itself by instinct. You're wrong! Who are you anyway? Can't see your faces. They're blurred in the windshield, but I tell you you're wrong! He hasn't abandoned me! He didn't kick me! He didn't just lay! Didn't let me do Kicking free of the doomed car, swimming, desperate to save his life to shore. There, lying exhausted, vomiting the filthy water which no power on earth could induce him to return to. Rising at last to flee on foot, the senator, limping, gasping for breath, covered in filthy black muck. Stumbling back along the marshland road, two miles to the highway, disheveled as a drunk. And if anyone saw him, photographed him, and if God, who so long favoured him, now withdrew his favour, and if never elected President of the United States after all. At the highway he crouched, panting like a dog crouched in hiding in the tall rushes, waiting for traffic to clear so he could run limping across the road to an outdoor telephone booth. What can I do? What can I do? God instruct me. What can I do? That girl, she's dead. She got emotional, grabbed the wheel. They'll say manslaughter. They'll get me for... Shut up. Just tell me where you are and I'll come get you.
accident had not happened yet, for there was the shiny black car only now turning off the highway, onto the desolate rutted road, speeding, skidding along the road. No. At the last possible moment, coughing and choking, she strained to lift her torso higher, to raise her head higher, straining. It won't be 
was drowning, but she was not going to drown. She was strong. She meant to put up a damn good fight. Take me to me. 